carries hold. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of six there on first. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a lot. Of and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Fletcher Cox getting him once again, his third sack of the afternoon. On third down, Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 34. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. This is a Johnny, and he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. He got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Cliff Averill able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. And that is going to be incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On second down, here's Wilson. Dancing to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Third and long, it's Wilson. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. On is the punter, Ryan, to send this one away. <laughs> Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. is wins. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact and as a result unable to hold on to the football. Here's Wentz to throw. It's brought in by Jeffrey. Oh, he breaks a tackle and he's got an alley. Touchdown! Philadelphia! 
Alshon Jeffrey, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. On second down, being chased out left. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Vinny Curry in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Now it's Wilson. He sets to fire deep. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Corey Graham. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find the spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Torrey Smith, the intended receiver, and it's second down. This defense can do some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. Throwing his wins. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Jaron Reed in there with pressure yet again, and that's the seventh time they've dropped him here this afternoon. On third and long, it's Wentz. Buying time to his left. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jay Ajayi, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles take advantage of good field position on the turnover to cash this one in. now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Now he's going to go up top. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A big play that time for the Seahawks. 46 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 
And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. From the gun, it's Wilson. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Brandon Graham in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson, an incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Now Wilson, throwing on third and long, steps away to his left, and he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Maybe one final chance here to make this a bit more respectable as he'll go for it on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Escaping the pressure right. His pass caught at the four. And he will be brought down well shy of the goal line. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone. And that will force a turnover on downs. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. Bearing it out deep for Smith. It got his man complete. It's a big play there for the Eagles. 44 yards. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the times they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And however it turns out, it turns out. On first down, Wentz. Forced out to his left. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Wentz again here on second and ten. Drops it off to Ajayi. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 18 yards there, down two to 18 and a first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Yeah, he is leveled. Knocked down hard at the six-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Wentz to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. 